Okay, so for this video, we're going to uh, deal with this question, and that is, we want to find the angle. And what angle are we talking about? Well, I'm talking about this little angle right here, okay? So I have this angle, and I have some lines that are crossing through this circle. And uh, right here, these lines are forming some arcs, okay, in this circle. And, of course, we have some information here. But these particular lines uh, that are chopping through this circle, they're called secants. So when you're studying uh, circles, especially at the high school level, there's uh, various lines that you know intercept a circle, like a secant, or maybe touch a circle. Um, that's a tangent, or you know, are line segments in a circle that are chords. And uh, here is the formula that we need to uh, use, and this formula is uh, relevant to uh, a lot of different situations when we're talking about circles, okay? It, uh, here we're dealing with a secant. This is a secant, and this is a secant line, okay? Again, there's different type of lines with circles, so uh, meaning that you will have various different formulas. So you don't want to confuse those formulas, okay? Sometimes we add uh, arcs, sometimes we subtract them, uh, sometimes we do other stuff. So there's a lot of different things. We can have an uh, exterior angle, we can have an inscribed angle, we can have a central angle. So you got to, you know, have your information organized. And how could you possibly have all these um, formulas organized if you're not taking notes? All right. So how does this formula work? Well, again, we want to know the measure. We want to know the measure of angle one. Okay. So this formula works this way. So the measure of angle one is going to be one half the difference of the arcs uh, formed by these uh, secants. Okay. So we have one arc here, okay, we're going to subtract this arc from this arc. So it's like, that's it? You know, this is pretty simple. Yes, indeed, it's not that difficult. So let's go ahead and just uh, plug in the information. So one half, 90 minus 20, which of course is 70. So one half times 70, right? We're subtracting these arcs. That's what the formula tells us to do is 35. So the measure of angle one is 35 degrees. So you're like, wow, that was easy. Okay, you're like, hmm, why was that so easy? Okay, I thought this was gonna be more complicated problem. I thought I was gonna be doing all kinds of crazy you know, stuff. No, uh, a lot of math, uh, if you know the formula, you know how to solve one version of the problem, it's not that difficult. Now, I could make this problem more interesting. I could give you this degree and I could say solve for this arc which is mean you're gonna to have to plug some stuff in and do some algebra, okay? That's a different story. So I could kind of um, put an extra flair, you know, spice up this problem. Uh, but the main, the main idea here is that you got to know um, formulas. Now in geometry, there are a ton of formulas. So here, let's just talk about geometry real fast and we'll wrap up this video. So, you know, you're probably like overwhelmed. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm learning so many theorems on postulates and definitions and corollaries. If you don't know what a corollary is, don't worry about it. Uh, lemmas, there's these things even called lemmas. Most people are familiar with theorems and postulates and definitions. In geometry, you, you learn like hundreds of these, right? There's a theorem on this, a theorem on that, a postulate on this. Um, then you have formulas. You have formulas everywhere. So think about it. How could you possibly, oops, how could you possibly uh, you know, reference this information without taking notes, okay? You gotta take notes. Now, even some of you might be like, well, I don't really need to take notes because I can just go to my digital online uh, textbook and everything's in there and I can reference it. They already did the work for me. Well, there's a more important reason for you to take notes, okay? One, you need the information, but two, here is uh, a student and this is the information going into their brain, okay, in the Marine Corps. Uh, yeah, that's what I did right after high school, and that shaped me up in terms of discipline. But this, we used to call that our brain housing group. <laughs> this is our brain, right? This is our computer here. So how do we get information to kind of go into our long-term memory, okay? Well, by writing things down, okay? When you write stuff down, that helps really solidify that information, okay? By you just looking at it, that's like, you're going to have, have very, it's only short-term memory, okay? Uh, but you need to have this stuff in your long-term memory because we are taking some exam like the SAT or ACT or maybe your final exam, 
okay, which your teacher is not going to give you all the formulas, you got to recall this information. If you're not taking notes, doing, taking, using the physical process of writing stuff down, engaging all your senses, you know, your auditory, your visual, your kinesthetic, uh, that's a pretty cool word, but that means when you're writing stuff down on a piece of paper, you know, going old school, that old school, you know, is there's, and just because it's old doesn't mean it doesn't work. It does work. Okay, and I'm telling you right here, um, this is how you're going to be successful in math. So why don't you just kind of uh, follow my lead on this and, uh, you know, more than just learning about this particular problem, learn how to be as successful as possible in mathematics. Okay. All right. So if this video helped you out, if you enjoy it in some way, if you're like, yeah, okay, this wasn't a waste of my time, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long time. I uh, have well over a thousand videos by now, I'm sure. Uh, um, videos ranging from basic to advanced math, they're all there for you. My passion is to teach in a clear and understandable way. Okay, I'm always striving uh, to do that, but my best math help uh, will be within my uh, math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.